Hi everyone. It's a bit of a grey, miserable day. We're all coming down from the excitement and the fun of Christmas and all the celebrations of the solstice. And I should be out here doing some work, but it's a bit breezy and it's kind of miserable. The trees are still bare. There's not much happening. Not much colour except for the Scotch pine. And of course, the brambles are rampant as always. The odd little flower on the Escalonia. But as I say, it's a bit breezy. I'm not sure I really want to work outside today. So I think what I might do is follow Jazz into the house and I'll go in and I'll check my apothecary. There she is waiting for me. So this is my home apothecary. Uh, these are all the bottles of tinctures that I've made over the last couple of years. Some of the bottles are empty waiting to be filled. I've got my flower essences there as well and more underneath and some um, infused oils, some dried herbs and some bags to put tea into. And then at the bottom I have all these jars of the tinctures that I made this last summer, well up until recently actually with dandelion root. So all of those are ready now to be strained into bottles. And then I think I'm going to rearrange this whole shelving system and um, put everything into some kind of alphabetical order so that I know exactly what I have and I can have my spare bottles on, on their own shelf so they're not just ganging up in a in a bunch like they are here. So I will go off now and all of these jars that need to be strained and put into brown bottles and labelled, I will do that and then I'll show you the finished apothecary. So I'll be back shortly. So I'm back. I have strained all the jars of the herbs that were tincturing and they're now in their lovely brown bottles and um, I've rearranged all the shelves so that the tinctures that are in the brown bottles are A to Z on the top part and um, then we've got some room sprays that I use for my clients when they're here and um, I have a basket of herbal tea that I've made. Down below I have a basket of muslin for when I'm straining. I have some um, measuring jars and things and uh, various bits and bobs there such as massage oils and chakra flower essences. And on the next shelf I've got all my dried herbs plus some herbs that are still tincturing in jam jars. And on the bottom shelf I have brown paper bags ready for when I'm drying again this summer along with some dried lavender, some castor oil, some almond oil. They're kind of basic supplies. And I also have some little uh, vacuum pack bags to put dried herbs into for tea and some cellophane bags. And then in the basket there, there are lots of empty little bottles to, to transfer the tinctured herbs and the brown bottles into the smaller bottles for clients. So now I'll just show you some of the herbs on the shelves. Um, most of these are weeds. So they're all growing wild outside here and they grow pretty much everywhere. So there's colt's foot and nettle, there's plantain and dandelion, there's um, cleavers and figwort, elderberry, horsetail, Hawthorn, purple loose strife, red clover, all of these are wild weeds that are medicinal, so anybody can access them. And um, there are a few garden herbs, such as the rosemary and the thyme, um, but mainly they're wild weeds. So, as I say, everybody can access them. And if you would like to know how to make any of these medicines, I've just put up a course, a digital course onto Udemy, which is a teaching platform. And um, my first course that I've done is called Herbs for Winter Wellness, which includes thyme and um, what else have I got here? Dandelion 
um, colt's foot. All of those things are mentioned in the herb course on Udemy, which is called Herbs for Winter Wellness. Now, it only costs a tenner, so it's worth investing in. And a lot of people have given me feedback already saying that they didn't realize how easy it was and how simple it was to make their own medicine. So they're delighted to have found the course. If you would like to, if you'd like to do it, I'll put a link below the, this film and you can click on that and it'll bring you straight to the course on Udemy. It's also, there's a link on the Facebook page. So I hope you can see that this is my little apothecary. It's for me and my family and friends and any clients that come. And you can see that it doesn't take long and it doesn't take a lot of money to set up a wonderful medicine chest or an apothecary for yourself. And it makes you feel so reassured, in control, ready for action should any issue arrive. And um, it's just a great feeling to know that all this medicine is here. So I hope you do consider buying the Udemy course. And um, you can also, if you would like to, click the subscribe button. That would be wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you next time. So bye for now.